Pressure measuring devices are used in almost every modern industry, from monitoring compressed air to operating hydraulic machinery. Depending on both industry regulations and the level of precision required in these applications, these pressure measurement devices must be calibrated periodically to ensure that they're within tolerance of their specified accuracy. To calibrate a pressure measuring device, a technician will compare the reading of the device under test, or DUT, to the reading of a more accurate and already calibrated device, often called a reference or standard. Specific calibration procedures will vary by industry, but a general rule of thumb is to use a reference that is at least four times as accurate as the DUT. This is often referred to as a 4 to 1 calibration. In most applications, the calibration may also need to be traceable to a governing national or international body, such as NIST or other national metrology institutes recognized by the International Committee for Weights and Measures. In the case of high accuracy devices, they may need to be sent to a calibration laboratory in order to comply with the manufacturer's original specifications. These labs are equipped with precise and traceable standards and typically accredited by national metrology institutes. This is known as a primary calibration. Calibrations for lower accuracy pressure devices are often performed in the field, using either a pump and reference gauge or a portable automatic calibrator. Using a device that received a primary calibration as a reference in your test is known as a secondary calibration. After comparing the readings of the DUT and the reference across multiple pressure set points, the DUT will either pass calibration and remain in service or fail and need to be adjusted or replaced. In both cases, calibration reports should be generated for the completed calibrations detailing the calibration process, results, and adjustments made. This allows for quality control and compliance across an organization's entire range of pressure devices. We hope you enjoyed this introduction to the world of pressure calibration. In the next video, we'll go over some of the terminology you'll encounter when calibrating your own devices.